I don't know if anybody else noticed this, but weirdly enough, well, two things. On Nick.com, uh, for Heterox videos, full episodes, for some reason, a yearbook wouldn't play. And at the time that it was first released online on Nick.com, and I could never get it to play. I didn't. I couldn't. I never understood why. No matter where I, no matter what system I was on, or what what internet network, and then they skipped over a good deed. Didn't even post that one on Nick.com. I don't. I didn't get that. Also, one other thing I didn't fully get about a good deed. Why the hell did Nelson continue and continuously insist that the uh, the bike with the garbage bin designed to help spread the fertilizer? Why do you insist on it being called the Poop De Devil Seven Thousand? Just to make sure that they knew his brand. It was his brand. It was his product. It doesn't matter. It's just, I just found it weird. <laughs> Although, the, lo the little bit afterwards that Molly and Grace do with Grace pretend that the dog's talking and Molly not liking it. <laughs> I don't get it, but it's just funny for some odd reason. Now let's move on to the next one. How to rock camping. And this is going to have been another Gravity 5 versus Perfs episode, but it wasn't. Once again, they're individualizing them, not splitting them into the two groups again. So, or rather the fact putting them together again and making it more so about the seven of them as one rather than as two separate groups two separate con constantly constantly conflicting groups this episode could also be called Ten Rocket Camping Trip uh, so the episode is this uh, March's history class is going to be going on a school trip uh, Molly is originally under the impression that they're all going to D.C., but that she figured it out somehow. I don't know why. It's implied that it's just the fact that she was rich enough to figure out, or she was popular enough to figure out. And instead, he's planning to take them to a national forest where they'll go camping, much to the horror of Grace and Molly. Uh, but... Also, they have this bit about Xander when he was a he was a Falcon Scout when he was a kid. They they did that first in Christmas, which they aired last in the series rather than uh, which was actually the tenth episode made. This is the I want to say twenty first episode made. I believe so, twenty first. But uh, I digress. So we have them split into individual groups dealing with different ways to try and camp. And at the same time as that, March is forcing them to rough it and not, like, do, like, a watered-down kind of camping with their technology, their food that they brought from home to live like the pioneers did as he's been teaching them in his class. Uh, maybe a little bit unreasonable, but... It, maybe that, that wasn't all that interesting. And... Also, like, so he puts them into two different groups. Uh, pine cones and the... I don't remember what the second, name of the second group is called. Uh, and it's basically just focusing on this, the seven members of the gang. Uh, all the backgrounds, not even... Don't even involve them. <laughs> Maybe split them all into, like, individual groups with a handful of a few people. So one group has Casey, Molly... Grace and Nelson. The other group has Xander, Stevie, and Kevin. Uh, they do this little bit where, like, Nelson and Kevin are upset because they're not together. That's kind of funny. Uh, it's not hysterically funny, but it's funny. It's cute. I give it a pass. Uh, and so it turns out, surprisingly enough, Casey's trying to step up step up and be the leader, but then she realizes Grace has all the camping knowledge, having gone camping numerous times with her grandfather, her grandpa, so she turns the role over to her so as to uh, help them with the experience. 
and they give Grace a real arc in this episode, and that's that's very admirable. I also wanted to mention, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but the fact that they didn't just make Kevin totally silly in a birthday party, but at the same time, he seemed genuinely upset, realistically, when he realized Casey was hogging everything about their birthday celebration, making it all more about her than about the both of them. Uh, so once it, that's that's really admirable there. The fact that they they actually made the characters who, they're actually starting to make the characters who don't didn't seem all that interesting before have more of a personality than they did before, or more of an interesting personality than they did before. And we get a we get some we get really good lines throughout scattered throughout these episodes like one liners, uh, dynamics. And the part at the end with Xander eating the poisonous berries and hallucinating, that's that's kind of ridiculous. Maybe if we hallucinated about more realistic things, it would have been more interesting. But once again, it's it's a minor quibble. It's it's almost nothing. And then the way that Grace does, like, it's not unbelievable the fact that she has this knowledge. You really feel like Indeed, she it's not a stretch that she'd have this knowledge and that she'd be able to use it so well. Because uh, there are people who have different kinds of strengths and weaknesses, physically and mentally, that work for them and may not necessarily work for someone else who would have their, their own. To each his own, to each her own. <coughs> Uh, and once again, they're not making Casey, they don't make Casey jealous about Grace being so well-versed in camping and being more the center of attention than her. They don't make that a thing. So that's, once again, very, very, a very pleasant thing to experience while watching the episode. And then, even the... Even when they sing the... Obviously, I, I can't really completely tell that they're all singing uh, the acoustic version of Only you, you Can Be You at the end of the episode, but it's it's a good rendition. It's much better than the uh, opening version, which, once again, also going to grow on me. Uh, at first, it felt like something like that was ear poison, but... It's it's enjoyable. It can be. And once again, just attuning to that new this new formula wouldn't get tiresome because it'd be more it's more believable than the other formula. It's not repetitive like the other formula. So that's something to really, really be pleased with in this case. So, once again, another really good one. I uh, I look forward to talking about the next one, too. See you guys then.